Okay, everybody, how you doing? I uh, wanted to come on here uh, and talk about uh, hate because a lot of our hate is uh, is unnecessary and it's not focused. Okay, now I'm going to give you a great example. Okay, you know, here you have two people. You have April Phillips and you have a person that says Old Seer. Now, here's the difference between the two people. And basically it's going to be their comments. All right. And this is how you judge a person by what comes out of their mouth. Okay. So when I look at Old Seer, Old Seer starts running his mouth. Okay. We've been here for years. Old Seer stumbled across this one day and he's like, oh, these... These dumbasses obviously need my opinion. And so what does he do? He shares his asshole. And nobody wants it. So what happens? He starts saying, uh, but you being blacky, you're claiming, and you can hear the racist uh, statements that are coming out of his mouth. So he only needs to talk that you can see he's your quote-unquote enemy. Now, when we look over here, in April, um, April's not saying anything negative. What she's doing is she's being positive. Now, when I go and I look at my messages today and looking at the messages to be approved, uh, and I see that uh, I've deleted them now, I see that my fair lady is questioning April about why she's here. Now, I understand that type of question to someone, say like uh, Old Seer, because when Old Seer sits there, uh, he's like, look, you, you porch monkey motherfuckers, why this, that, and the other. But when I look at the comments that April leaves, they're, they're not uh, against us. They're for us. This is the thing that makes up a person that's uh, the title of uh, abolitionist. Now, you're an abol aboriginal and she's an abolitionist. She is in support of your aboriginal conquest to reclaim yourself. Now, when I look at my fair lady and the things that she said to her, um, it, 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 it troubles me because... That's just pure hate. You see a white face and now you're ready to attack like a dog. Now, I'm not calling you a dog. I'm just saying you're ready to attack like, like that type of animal because that's what that only trained to attack. Right. So what we want to do is we want to analyze people before we sit there and start putting them in the love or hate boat, because not everybody that looks like you is on your fucking side. And I hope. I'm reaching you, okay? I had to. I have to block you, uh, your comments. Your comments are unnecessary. I've never seen you comment on anything in any kind of support. In fact, when I go to your home, I don't see anything. I, I, you know, no recent activity, no chance. It's just somebody went and picked a fucking name and said, I'm going to attack this person. So, of course, th this is a block. Now, that just means you can't comment anymore. There's nothing that we really want to, I really want to hear you say. Because again, I don't see you commenting on all these videos that have been here. I don't see you commenting on the videos she comments on. I see, I, I saw, uh, 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 what do they call this uh, when it's an ongoing one? Uh, I saw an ongoing uh, comment. And in that comment, you, you start, what are you even doing here? People said, I heard you survived cancer, April. Congratulations. And your fucking comment, whoever you are, is to say, what are you even doing here? Because why? She's getting attention for fucking surviving a disease? That's, that's, that's some pretty low down shit right there. So, when I... Think about it from my perspective. This is what I want everybody to understand. I don't give a fuck how pale April is. I don't care if she glows in the fucking sunlight. I don't care if she's so pale in the dark we can light candles against her. 
I don't care if she's white. I don't care if she's forever marked white. And here's why. Everything I've done since she's viewed, she's supported. When I had t-shirts, she bought t-shirts for her and her family. When I when I tell everybody, hey, I'm selling these uh, 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 tunics. And I'm making them in the uniforms for you Afro-Asians. Let's see, how many Afro-Asian orders did I have? None. Two people have ordered tunics. Neither one of them look like me and you. If you're going to attack the people that support me more than the people I fight for, then I have to separate from that person. And again, that channel that that person's using isn't even active. Somebody said, I'm going to create a second identity just to attack this person. So I'll answer that question. Because everything that she answered was perfect. You know, what are you doing here? She said, I didn't pick my skin color. Isn't that the same thing that you used to say when people act nasty towards you because you have dark skin or you have an afro? And now look at the hate that's, that's being perceived by us. Instead of collecting ourselves and the ones that think like us and collecting the nations and the ones that think like us, we want to just attack everybody. Look, I'm, I'm all for cause and effect. This happened, and here's my reaction to it. All right? But if there's no cause, there technically shouldn't be an, uh, an effect. That's you just being wicked. Just picking a fight with somebody. And because what? Because of the attention that was brought for her towards her in those comments. We're in this for survival. Preferably biblical survival. This person you're attacking seems to be a survivor. So that just it doesn't make sense. It seems a corruption of perspective. Now, when whoever runs around calling themselves uh, Fair Lady or My Fair Lady or whatever the hell that name was, when they decide that they're going to invest in my family and in our future family, um, uh, then, you know, they're, they're, I guess there's more weight in those comments then. And, but still, they're hate. This isn't a person that's attacked us. This isn't a person that's done anything wrong to us. This is a person that's grown side by side with us. You could see their, their stamp for, for damn near a year, if not longer. So again, please, please don't attack people that, that don't deserve it. You know, uh, uh, when you look at these comments, when, when I'm, that's me. If I sat here for two hours giving a lesson on something and somebody asked me something I think that is completely stupid, it's already been covered seven different ways within the two hours that they just watched. Then I'm going to be hostile towards that person. What the hell were they doing for two hours? And if they didn't watch, why are they sitting there commenting on asking questions? Because they didn't learn anything. They're just voicing their opinion. Opinions are like assholes. So they're just smelling up the air with their pants down. Don't black people walk around with their pants down? Like everybody deserves to see the top of their ass cheeks? Come on, people. We're on the road to becoming something different than we were taught. Let us reconnect with our heritage and stop a lot of this nonsense. Our most important goal right now is changing our titles. This is very easy to do. Very easy to do. You just go to the Social Security office. 
Fill out your information. Get your little ticket and wait for them to call you up. And say you'd like to adjust your SS5. You'd like to change the race on there. Ask them if they'll do the SF181. If not, just go home and get a printout. SF181 has three questions about you. And the, and the rest is one check mark, American Indian. Anybody that has problems with this, then they're just not at the point where they should be doing this. Because... It truly is the most simplistic form you can fill out. Again, the SS5, you don't have to fill out. You will be seeing an employee of the state. They will be typing for you. You just verbally say, I'm here for this. And yes, to a great degree, you have to trust that they're changing the information for you. I will say this. I've heard, uh, I'm going to get October Scorpio on here. I talked to October Scorpio. There is a man in, I think it's it's, it's Minnesota or Milwaukee. I get those M shits confused. Uh, he's up there. He got it done. His son, I told the story about how his son got, uh, got it done. And the black dude uh, tried to give him a bunch of black power talk. And then uh, the, the kid said, supervisor, got rid of that shit real fast. If you guys have problems, just call for the supervisor. This is a simple adjustment. Nobody needs to give you a pat on the back and say, hey, brother, don't forget the black cause. <clears throat> they didn't say that shit when their masters that give them a paycheck every week took Negro off the birth certificate. They spent $100 million already. Who the fuck spends that kind of money? What kind of institution Spends that kind of money just to erase your fucking birth certificate. Hmm? One that's practicing eugenics. And we couldn't see this before. It's about eugenics. And what they want is everybody be termed white. By choice. Then it's a melting pot. It's a Babylonian melting pot. The daughter of Babel. See, you've been warned about this. Just because it don't say United States in the Bible don't mean this place is not talked about. It is the daughter of Babel. It's always been the daughter of Babel. When you look at the how the Indians talked, they're broken in syllables, right? Broken in syllables. I'll show you one if I can get this up here. Let's see. Uh, let's pause this real quick. All right, so Brother Ed sent me a few things hey brother ed sent me a picture of himself i know what it looks like now you won't believe brother ed look damn near just like brother saint mike as soon as i saw his picture i was like hey brother is he part of the stovalls okay so this is uh indian registry that was going on right so this one's kind of hard for me to understand but i still kind of get some of the understanding that's going on in it. now i go down here and i want to go to oh, i'm getting so fucking dizzy Potawami. All right, I want to go to the first Potawami because this is what I looked at yesterday. Okay, so real 392. All right, let's go back up here. This is Ancestry Paths, and this is Census of the Indians. Okay, so in rule 392, now check this shit out. I'm going to show you how they talked. Now, it's going to be in English writing, but we're going to look at some of these names. All right, so here's one. Let's go blowing in. All right, so this is some of the Indians, right? This is their names, and this is from the area of the uh, Pot Powatami, some, something like that, right? Let's scroll down real quick. Now, I chose this. It's 392, so we can just go that way now, right? Powatami, right? Now, if you take Powatami and say, well, what is a Powatami? All right, and... You can just type this in and you can find out their region and shit like that. And uh, the Powatami is also Powatum, Powatawami. Well, thanks for the ad. That's what I needed. Uh, where did the Powatami tribe live in Michigan? Where they located? So they were actually located along uh, areas of the Great Lakes. All right. So uh, 
So when I look at this and I see this is the name, basically I had to say, well, where is this, where are these people located? Then I have to go and find out and see if it's close to me. And because, you know, eventually you're going to want to see if your ancestors are on this roll. Now, this is what I was talking to Ed about last night. Now, listen to the names. And I want you to see something that happens all the time. Now, when you look at some of these, this is Kaoish. Kaoish. Okay? And you see this is a I A Ta. So Ayata was that person's name. This is me uh a a u me um au me mus kuk. Miyamu mi muskuk was that person's name. Now, notice all these syllables will be used over and over again to form different names. Have you, here you have, uh, let's say that says Han, H A N, who, uh, or you could say Ihansuk, Ihansuk. Okay? So think about how you still have Jaqueta and Quanisha today, because you still have Kwa right here. So this is where you get the qua each time. And this is ka, see, ka versus qua or quash. This is qua, this is quash. Well, I think this is an S, but it could be, a, it could very well be an A. So this is ka ma tu bi. Ka ma tu bi. Wa kishko. Wa kishko. All right. So when you scroll up here, it says sex, relation, and age. So here's the husband, here's the wife, here's the M father, mother, uh, male father, here's the wife, here's the daughter, here's the next family. And this is how it's going. You have to look for the father, the daughter, uh, the father and the mother each time. All right? So here you have father, wife, son, male, male. So that could be just two men that are from the tribe, but no distinct lineage connected to this family. But see, they're not separating father, wife, daughter, daughter, daughter. And then here's husband, and then there's wife. All right, so that's a new family at 40, at number 87. That starts a new family. So you're not going to uh, 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 necessarily be able to say, okay, here's my last name. Um, let me find it in here. Uh, because of the names that a lot of these Indians, these brothers and sisters went by. Che na Chinago. Chinago is a daughter. Seven, uh, what? Seven of 12? Seven months, almost 12 years old? I don't know. Seven months into the 11th birthday? I don't know. 12, uh, seven years and 12, seven, seven years old and 12 months would equal uh, eight year, you know, eight years old. So it makes me think that she's 12 years old in her seventh month. The father's 23. Oh, and that's doesn't No, She's seven months old then. I don't know what the 12 is for, but the father's 23. So, and the mom doesn't seem to be listed unless this is, cause that's a male. Ash Ton Coat is a male. Um, so that's, that's all from that. Uh, she, the mom could have died during birth. The mom could have died from a bear mauling. Who knows? Mom could have been snatched up. Mom could have died during war. Who knows? Because at this point, the census, the census is active. So that means that they're already, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, colonists, uh, you know, colonists come around with a, a book and, uh, and start asking questions. And, and these people are, are are, you know, compelled to answer, you know, but when you watch that video that I showed you yesterday with the Indians, um, the amalgamated Indian is, is the head chief and the Negro, uh, uh, Indian is, is the, uh, the sheriff of the town, right? The Negro Indians, you know, he, he asked them, uh, you know, did, did you, uh, uh, what did you know about your father, uh, or your grandfather? He said, well, I didn't know much. And then the chief cuts him off, right? Because this motherfucker is his dick. And he cuts him off and he says, what? He says, well, during the time his grandfather lived, it was illegal to discuss such things. You could get shot or hung and shit like that. So 
again, keep this in mind. This is why your grandmothers feel freer to tell you we are Indian blood than your grandfathers do because you you know it's 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 rare that you ha you're going to hang uh, women versus hanging men. More so, you're going to threaten women. Be quiet, or I'll hang your your husband. You know, um, uh, and 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 that that goes along with shooting too. I mean, you know, how are you going to explain to the town folk? Well. This old woman was kept talking all that Indian stuff, so so I just shot her. You know, it's easier to say that about men, and then you can just pull it off. Well, he was uh, staring at my white daughter, you know, and and you can get away with it more so that way. Again, they had laws in place saying you cannot discuss your Indian heritage openly. All right, so so keep these things in mind, um, and again. Uh, there's absolutely no point in attacking people um, who are here to help. You know, I, I'm not uh, 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 big on the comments. Um, I, I hardly go through uh, uh, comments. Basically, I have a comment approval system. Uh, I've been doing this five years, you know, just letting anybody say anything isn't healthy. Um, uh, same comment twice. But but this is how it goes. They you know a lot of people are able to see the comments you leave, you leave because they go to their mail, you know. But before comments go up, for the most part, I approve them, you know. And and I can't accept uh, uh, that kind of that kind of um, uh, just just rudeness, you know. Because you know as I sit back and watch, I can see what it's based around, you know. And, and and it's not right. Uh, it, it, it's jealousy, and you have no reason to be jealous. This is persons here to assist you. If there is, if the, if we had a camp and you came in hungry, uh, uh, if this person was part of the camp. I'm sure she would feed you with her own food. Knowing she survived a vicious. Uh, uh, foreign object in her system that she needs all the help that she can get out of some food. You know, I'm sure you know, bet my left arm she would give it to you. Even if she knew that you were the person that left those damn comments. I don't know her that well, but the more I talk to her, you know, the more you know people. So please, if somebody comes here and saying Nigger, 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 of course they're trying to insult you. Don't take that. But if somebody's being loving and kind, you don't have to fucking spit in their fucking face. You don't know them. It's not healthy for your karma either. Or your conscience. Look, people, have a good day. Get these forms. Uh, uh, print, get the form, the one form printed out. Uh, look, go to your social security office for the SS5 and the 181. If they won't do your, they have to do your SS5. If they won't do your 181, Print it out, get ready to send it in on the 27th, and, you know, maybe we're all right, April Fool on there, you know, um, because we know in April the new year begins, you know, um, so, so, oh, just in case you're paying attention, let's see, uh, uh, equal days, equal day and night 2017, it, just popped in my head, so uh, oh, just give me the date. So March twentieth, they claim Monday, March twentieth seems to be the day. So we're gonna go in the scripture. I think it's fourteen days um, after that. So, so we're, it's April fourth, I believe. It's probably gonna be the Passover. Now remember, most people don't want you to fucking understand when the Passover is. You can easily go into the first five books of the Bible and find this out. You don't have to wait for me. You don't have to wait for nobody. It'll tell you. If you want to get a whole animal and blah, 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 it tells you how to, what to do. The organs and the legs and the head go to the Lord and the blood goes to the Lord. 
Everything else is readable. You, 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 just read it. You ain't got to take my word for it. If you don't read it, don't sit there and say, well, you said because of misinterpretation, because you got the same resources I have. I bring up, hey, let's go into the Brenton. Half of these brothers go right into the Brenton and start reading from, for, uh, from it for you. You know that as well as I know that. And then we look at some of these words and say, hey, that word doesn't mean that. These brothers done went into etymology. Ed just showed us all, hey, let's just go to the root of some of these words. Look for pi. Now, these video authors have been attacking that now. Everything from the word and the and with, we done looked up to unique things like rapture. And we know we've already been raptured by the Europeans. They came and kidnapped us and took us all over the world. So let's stay awake. Let's stay positive with each other and the people that are helping us. If white power on, uh, on paper means genocide to other races, then we don't play that game. Go forward with your studies. Forward, not backwards. It's not going to hurt you to look back at some stuff to study for the future. Get any of the first five books. There should not be one person that has not read the first five books of the Bible on their own with nobody else's assistance. I don't give a shit if you read it and there's things you don't understand. You should have glanced over each and every one of these things with your own eye really slow. Yeah, I know I said glance. But listen, it's nobody else's duty to save your individual soul. 